Hey, hi, sorry. Uh, I'm a little, <laughs> sorry for that long start screen there. But, uh, good evening. Um, hope your week has gone well. Now that we're, we're back at the end of it, we're ready to get back into here. A little, little game Kenta has made back in the RPG time, Legend of Right. Uh, funny thing is, <laughs> right when I started this game, uh, I thought I was gonna just, like maybe head into like the main menus or something like that. But now here he is. It's like, hey, it's boxing time. Why don't we go play with this uh, Rock'em Sock'em uh, robots warm up? I guess <laughs> get our RPG muscles warmed up. So uh, why don't we start get started here. You're in the blue corner. I'm in the red corner. Got it. Use the buttons below the ring to punch. First one to KO, the other wins. Fight! Alright, so it's like R, R, right? Oh. Oh, I lost. You win! That was fun. Okay, now for the Legend of Right. I like how it's just like a... It's just a random thing that happens. Don't you want to see what happens next? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, uh, push start, which is the enter button. All right, Grand Venture is about to begin. Well, it's about to continue, actually. Yep, so last we left off, we kicked the... Kicked the... Yeah. Hey, we're at your destination right here. Now go forth and explore Porch Town. That's, that's pretty cool. Old reminder, like, last time on The Legend of Right. In any case, uh, last we left off, we kicked the troll's butt. I think it was a troll. Anyways, we, we defeated a major boss, completed chapter one. We got out of the cave that was actually the innards of a large dragon. And now we're here in town to find out where we're supposed to go next. And also assemble a party, at least according to, uh, to the chapter, in the chap, the, the, uh, what do you call it? Interlude? I think, yeah, interlude. Anyways. It's like our main objectives are to go to the bridge and go to the academy, so of course we're gonna do those two last and explore everything else. So, uh, first is the inn. Uh, oh, right, it's not a point and click, I gotta use W, I gotta use WASD. WASD to check stuff out. It said, we're using inspect mode. Use that, and uh, what sorts of flavored text we have for this. Ah, here we go. That's a weather vane. It spins round and round with the wind. <laughs> it spins right round, baby, right round, like a record baby, right round, round, round. That bird sees the unseeable, the direction of the wind. Well, thankfully, wind is not unfeelable. If it's, you know, strong enough. Here's our Welcome to Corneria NPC. Sniffly boys at the entrance. My nose is always running during allergy season two. You know, my my I used to have like really really bad allergies when I was a kid. I think I already said this, but now now that I've like grown up more for some reason, it's not. I don't find myself sneezing like all all sorts of crazy like during spring like I used to when I was a kid. Then again, I haven't like. Well, I did go back to my old home for a while, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe something about me changed though. I just don't react poorly to whatever got me as a kid anymore. That's the inn! Balloons are real handy in the Legend of Right. They have many different uses. Wait, are we talking about balloons now? Also, that wolf, that wolf, uh, I, don't, I don't like that look of that wolf. I wonder if uh, th this wolf here tried to deceive, like, um, uh, the girl who's traveling through the woods uh, uh, earlier at some point. That's the local's regular watering hole. <laughs> Entrance is on the left, but remember, alcohol is for grown-ups. Yes, the kids will get all, all get served juice or frothy mugs of water. And milk. And that cute little bird is Chirpy. It comes to the garden every morning to feed. Wait, who named it Chirpy? I mean, the, the part from the Game Master, of course. It's Mr. Upside Down. He got that name because he loves palindromes. Huh? Oh, definitely not in the name. 
Also, wow, I just realized he's upside down. I... Maybe that's why they made a palindrome. Made a palindrome reference because this, if you look at it upside down, this also could look like a person, you know, he's right side up. Wow. It's like that two-sided face they had in the cave, right? It's like, oh yeah, you can either see two faces or you see a rabbit. Yeah, if you look at him from the other side of the desk, his face changes. You just just uh, go around. <laughs> That's an old well. It's not a real RPG unless there's one of those. It's not a horror movie unless there's uh, some weird monster climbing out of it. If you inspect the well, you can go inside it. I wonder what's in there. Hopefully it's not like a zombie-infested ruin or anything like that. That's the town's arrow sign. The school's on the next page. Keep going! Looks like there's a Meninja hidden here, so... Wait, is that it? No, that's not... Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> oh, Meninja spotted! Found nine of us! Poof. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. Explored everything here. Why don't we just uh, check out the buildings here? Uh, right, interact. Someone's peeking through the window! Right, open the door to investigate. <laughs> oh my god. It is a straight up Little Red Riding Hood reference. I was joking! I was a joking game! You didn't have to play it straight! <laughs> Anyways. What do you want? <clears throat> um, I mean, what is it? I'm just a little old lady. Wherever did my delicious... My precious little red go. I've been waiting so long. And that's it. He just just pieces out. Really? I'm gonna try to solve this conundrum here. Like maybe put up a warning sign. Hey, there's a wolf here. Whoever is about to enter, maybe don't freaking enter. Cause looks like he wants to try to bamboozle somebody. Also, I'm pretty sure in, like, the Little Red Riding Hood fairy tale, this was supposed to be a remote cabin in the woods. Like, why, are, why isn't anyone else doing anything about this? We clearly have a situation at hand here. Alright, let's go to the bar, I guess. Ding ding, right open the door to the tavern. Also, nice, uh, nice bunny suit standy here. <laughs> what is it with, like, certain fantasy games, including, like, modern costumes like these, right? It's like. Uh, I mean, I, I know the reason. I know the out of universe reason, but what would the in universe reason be, right? <laughs> it's like you get these cotton woolen fantasy garb, and then suddenly, boom, beach episode, and everyone's like. <laughs> Donning swimsuits that are somehow not like super heavy or super uncomfortable, or something like that, you know. Greetings, come in, please stay as long as you like. Bar run by a snake, oh boy. Tavern reeks so badly of alcohol that right started to smell too. Oh man, it's like it's like cigarette smoke. Nom 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 nom. You know, I'm actually on a diet. <laughs> Is it, um, the Atkins diet? Oh man, I remember when that, that was a big deal, because it's like, Oh man, do you, you know you actually eat lots of meat? And that would actually, like, help you with weight loss, and... Yeah, people didn't realize that, you know, there's a lot of the other stuff that goes with eating, like, tons of meat. You don't just eat tons of meat, right? <laughs> I'm the mayor. All my campaign posters have been vandalized. How lamentable, I suppose. If there's like a, a, someone competing for the spot, right? Caw! I'm as bad as a hen. Just leave me alone. I'm not in the mood. Very well. Oh, here we have, have a server bunny. <laughs> An actual rabbit. Okay. Hey you, my name's Bunny. This is Mama Snake's Swallowing Hole. Ah, okay. Welcome. Would you like a drink? 
Would you like to be swallowed? Whoa! Okay, this this escalated quickly. I'm just going to I'm just going to slip out of here. Just pretend that did not happen. Hmm. Given that the way that the posted the sticky note has not come back onto the bar, I have to assume that's that's the way it will stay, and I'm assuming that we will resolve this wolf situation at some point. Okay, so let's talk to Mr. Upside Down here. Ahaha! Hey, oh, oh yeah, it's me, Upside, Mr. Upside Down. Yay! Okay, okay, I see. Certain phrases and words he says will have that palindrome uh, element to it. I'm a civic leader. I like to kayak, and I like tomatoes. Hey. Food that's like a palindrome. The only one I can think of is Taco Cat. That is obviously not something they would want to put there. Right, inspected the well. There's a light at the bottom. Want to go in? Whoosh! Right, hop down into the well. Hey, you asked a question. I was expecting like some sort of response, like a, a prompt or something, not just a okay. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, this is fine. I was gonna have to go down here anyway, so. Oh. The inside of the wall has been renovated. It's split into two comfy rooms. Page is drawn from a bird's eye perspective. It's called Top View. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a, a reference to The Legend of Zelda. Welcome. If you want to enroll to Adventurers Academy, just head on back. Wait, hold on. Uh. Wait, this is the Adventurers Academy? What was that huge ass building? Is that like, is this like a test or something? I'm confused now. That's a bookshelf. My bookshelf is full of comics and video game guides and art books. Hey, it's like my bookshelf. Just like me, for real, for real. Ah, that's a vending machine. Hold on, so this is like also in the same universe as that vending machine isekai series? You have to bow your head in front of it, or it won't give you anything. Manor enforced vending machine. How, uh... I don't know if that's like ingenious or obnoxious. Maybe both. That's Opal. She works at the reception desk. It must get boring waiting for someone to show up. How does she kill time? Let's not ask. Oh, that's a poster for a new movie. I want to watch a movie and eat tons of popcorn with a medium soda on the side. Only a medium, not not a large. Selfish boy, not kidding. <laughs> ah, that's where the trash goes. Oh, yep, nope. I'm I doubt pressing X right now. Doubt. If you don't throw it out quickly, you'll get bugs. Really big and yucky bugs. Oh, ain't that the truth? That's the poster of a singer. The one on the left or the one on the right? My bedroom is full of video game posters. Good to know. That's a TV. Watching TV is fun and all, but I'd rather use the TV to play games. Ah, just like me, for real, for real. That's a, there's a fridge over there. Sometimes fridges make a brrr sound, right? I wonder why. If it makes a weird sound that sounds like a scream, then your fridge is probably leaking. You should probably get it checked up. That's Xavier. He loves games. I really like his hair. Maybe I should change mine, too. <laughs> um... Alright. Oh, right. I'm still in spec mode. I gotta, I gotta get out of that. Press X. Okay. On with the adventure. Let's see what we can examine here. Just this one, I guess? Alright. Hey there, welcome to the arcade. I'm Opal. Come on, let's play a quiz game. It'll be fun. The rules are simple. Just my answer my questions with zero O or X, true or false. Alrighty, question one. Do green tea and black tea come from the same leaf? Oh. oh dang, I was not expecting general knowledge. Um do green tea and black tea come from the same leaf? Uh... 
Give me a second here, I gotta consult my, um, tome of knowledge real quick. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you, you remember Inspector Gadget, remember how Penny had, like, the computer book? I kind of let her do whatever the plot required her to do, it's, it's kind of like that. Uh, let's see, um, let me enter into my, uh, tome here. Uh, okay, do, um, do green, pea, and, <sighs> wow, it didn't know what I was asking, hmm, looks like, ah, wow, okay, both black and green tea come from the same plant, Camellia sinensis, the scientific name of all tea bushes across the world. Fascinating. Because that's true. Ding, ding, ding! Correct. They're both made from the leaves of the tea plant. Ha! Ah. Next question two: Is this town called First Town? No, it's called Porch Town. Good. At least that wasn't general knowledge. That was game trivia. Ding, ding, ding! Correct. This town is called Porch Town. Isn't it great? Question three: Is there a way you can always win tic tac toe? Always? I don't think so. I think, like, if, if everyone plays optimally, the best you can, it will always result in a tie, right? The only way you're gonna win is, is like, the other person actually manages to misplay. There's no way to, like, guarantee yourself a victory, right? That does make me wonder, what were the questions in the original Japanese version? Uh, I feel like maybe some of these could be the same, right? The first and the second could be the same, but the, sec the third one does feel like it might they might have subbed it for, for another thing that might they might have thought might not be quite as understood. Out, outside? Who knows? Anyways, I'm going to consult my uh, magic tome again. Uh, can... Yeah, I figured as much. No way to guarantee. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually what you do, right? Just sitting in somewhere trying to kill times, like, hey, let's play tic tac toe. And like, like maybe 99% of your games are just gonna end up in a tie. So, no. Magic Tome had a second entry that says, If both players play optimally, the first player will always win if they place their first move in the center of the cube. Huh. Yep. S nope. If you go first, there's a way to win every time. Okay, question four. Does RPG stand for really perfect? No. It stands for role-playing game. I'm an, I'm an old vet at that. At least. <laughs> Last one. Question five. Is Princess Lei the only one who can beat Death God? Uh, no. I assume Wright can also do that. Oh. Nope. She's the only one. Only her light can oppose him. Alright, let's take a look at your final score. How did you do? It's a three out of five. I counted. Three points. Great job. Alrighty. Well, that's all I've got. Hope you had fun. Have a nice day.
XOXO. Huh. That was a, a fun little diversion. Alright, do we get to inspect the trash? No. Okay. Poster, maybe? No. Not the TV. I'm guessing we only have one point of interaction in this, uh... Oh, <laughs> wait! I'm, I think I'm starting to see what they might be getting at here. I see these. There's props laid around to make this resemble um, a tic-tac-toe board. And boy, howdy, that quiz. Um, yeah, sure had some interesting questions, don't you think? Anyways, let's interact with uh, Xavier here. No, triangles are against the rules. Gah! Get up. Ah, what a nap. My name is Xavier. I'm in charge of the student guidebook. You're here to get the student guidebook, aren't you? Well, am I right? If you want one, you gotta beat me at tic-tac-toe. Uh, let's play dumb here. Tic-tac-toe? Huh? You don't know how to play tic-tac-toe? Alrighty, I'll teach you. You just have to line up three of the same symbol in a row in any direction. If I get three X's in a row, I win. You, I get three O's in a row. I win. Oh, okay. Use this button to draw circles. Press it wherever you want to put a circle. Alrighty, let's start. You can go first. Put a circle wherever you want. I also like how I um, have a giant plastic cone here to let you know. Yeah, this path is closed off for now. <laughs> Anyways. Since we took the quiz over there, now we know we can guarantee a win if we put an O in the center. Let us put an O in the center. <laughs> Just spin the tax to ground. Okay, <laughs> that works. Ooh, nice move. But still, you won't win this one. Take that, cross slash. Now it's my turn. Hmm. All right, let's, let's go aggressive here. We're gonna cut you off. We're gonna cut you off the pass. Boom. How you like that? Ooh, nice move, but still, you won't win this one. Oh, snap. Yep, you had to go cut me off as well. Huh. Now it's your turn. Mm. Maybe if I go here. Ooh, nice move, but okay. I see this dialogue's gonna repeat. Bro? Did you, did you mean to do that? I can, I, I, I'll let you have a do-over if you want. You can do that over, you're, you're on my, all right, all right. Um, okay, your loss, I win. Wait. Hey, whoa, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I thought this was a game of tic-tac-toe, not um, sick smack foe. What the hell, man? It's not cheating. An adventurer has to know how to battle. Yeah, and I thought we were having a battle wits, man. If you want to put down that last circle, you'll have to battle me. Oh, what, what the crap? Oh, we're, we're at, okay. It's a good thing this O doubles as a spin attack. Huh, huh, huh. There. Now. <laughs> No, I've lost the game. Oh, God damn it! I've lost the game too, and so has everyone else doing this stream right now. And now I've lost the battle too. Fine, I guess you should end this now. All right, finishing blow, super spin, O oh, strike, three in a row. Let's go. Alrighty, that's a win for you. Here's a reward, the student guidebook. Right, got the student guidebook. The student guidebook is required to enroll at the academy, so hang on to it. Come play again, okay? Next time I win for sure. Bro, you really think I'm gonna win after you, you assaulted me like that? Fuck no, I'm out of here. Screw you, screw your stupid game. Oh, are you finished? Come here then, over here. That battle tie you out. Why not make a burger to refuel? Bonus time, get ready for- oh, is this gonna be like one of those stacking games where I gotta like move a thing left or right and stack a burger? Well, it's still not worth getting the tar beat out of me, that's for sure. 
Here are the rules. Move right, left, and right to catch the falling burger toppings with his bun. I'll drop the topping now so you can practice. Try to catch it. Ready? From the left, dropping now. Oh, here it comes. Plop. Next, from the right. Wow, man, it's like those um, stackable burger toys, right? The ones the little kids have. Yeah, they got the magnet in the center, too. Top on the fall last, meaning the game is over and your burger is ready. Burger is ready. Alright, looks like a great burger. Stack up lots of toppings to make a huge burger, but don't let it fall apart. Oh, great, so it's a balancing act in, in addition to... Uh, catch the stuff, huh? Alright. Okay, let's get started. Ready? It's burger time! <laughs> they said that on purpose, didn't they? They totally said that on purpose. Oh, jeez, okay. Oh, man. Uh, thank goodness for these magnets. Holy cow, what? This is like industrial strength. Industrial grade. <laughs> the top bun, here it comes. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> you stacked on 12 toppings to Deluxe Hero Burger, ready to be devoured. How the burger you just made to the food menu. And it's actually called, like, Food Burger? Right, having had this fill, left the burger shop. So is this like a round one? It's like a combination arcade restaurant? <laughs> nice job, I hope it was delicious. See you again. Can I, can I play that burger minigame again? Closed for today. Anyways, I still want to press charges. Can I press charges against Xavier? The guy, the guy is clearly a sore loser. I can at least do the next best thing and get out of here. Uh, food menu. Yep, there it is. Our hero burger. 70 HP. Alright. And press an X to go back. Are you a fool? I'm fool. But I'm no fool. Aha. Okay, back to exploring. Alright, on to the next page. More points of inspection. Ahoy! This is the way to the Ventures Academy, but it's not class time yet. It's okay, I'm here to examine things. Octavius the Cool Octopus lives in that pot. I love soccer. I'm the best goalie ever. Alright, interesting segue. Or lack thereof. That's a poster for the mayoral election. Someone put thumbtacks through the eyes of the guy on the poster. Oh, man. Vandalism. Can't stand for that. That tree produces gummy apples. They're soft and chewy and delicious. Doesn't the food in comics and video games look so tasty sometimes? Oh, you can say that again. Oh my god. That's the treasure post. I use post boxes to send cards and my submissions to comic magazines. Very nice. I remember or the good old days of having letters to the editor and stuff like that. Always exciting to get that new issue of the magazine. Excitedly opening to the letter section to see if your letter got selected to be responded to. Of course, that was pre-internet days. These days, it's just like, yeah, you just post it online, and maybe uh, you'll get a response. Maybe you won't. That's the Adventurer's Academy. I want to go to all kinds of schools, too. Like a school for magic. This is Pot, a magician who's going to fight help- who's going to help right fight Death God. I was about to say, fight right, help Death Guard. I'm like, wait, wait, no, no, that's not, that's not what he's gonna do. He's a secret weapon that Wright and friends will use to beat the bad guys. Oh my god, don't tell me he's gonna, like, power some sort of ancient super weapon or something. Huh? There's something strange about that bush. Look at how it's animated, unlike the rest of the scenery. <laughs> ah, man, that's a good old video game classic, right? It's like, the, the piece of scenery that looks ever so slightly more vibrant than the rest of the scenery. It kind of clues you in that, hey, maybe this, this is something you can interact with. Weird sounds coming from a bush at night? No thanks, you should leave it alone. Hold on, it's nighttime? I, just, I thought it was like midday or something. Do you like this vase? It's a really good deal. 
You can change the look of the whole bouquet by just by putting it in a vase. Yeah, that's for sure. There's are azaleas. They're the perfect snack to eat while on the go. If you find azaleas on your way home, you can eat them right then and there. You know, provided they're not being used as like a, a display bush or anything like that, right? Don't just go randomly eating plants that are in your neighborhood, right? Even if they are edible, right? It's just, it doesn't make sense. Um, alright. I see there's like a meningen here. Oh, there it is. Found ten of them. There we go. You've achieved the rank of Junior Ninja. Mini, mini. There we go. Another one down. Uh, okay. Exit. Onward and rightward. Hmm. I wonder if I'll have to use that S rock or something later. Anyways, let's interact with this. Yo! Oh. So that's how it's using the pot, huh? Okay. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm Octavius. This is my pot. Well, it's a rental. Hermit octopus, huh? I have lots of pots. They're lined up along the road. Take a look. Bloop. Better hope there's there's no Link. Don't have, hope there's no one in this land named Link. Whoa. Uh... I hope you're not a mimic. Please don't be a mimic. Greetings. I am the treasure post. This is a gift for you. It's a doodle sheet. Oh. Uh. Cool. This is a doodle sheet. The treasure post will give you a doodle sheet with a different theme each time. This, The theme this time is a new character. I love making up new characters. Will you draw a new character for me? Look up there, that's the desktop. The treasure post is on the left. Open it up to get a doodle sheet. But you have to graduate from the Adventurer's Academy to unlock the desktop. So continue the story, unlock the desktop, then come back here to doodle. Now, back to Wright's adventure. You can, like, see the rest of the interface there. <laughs> it's kind of cool. go peek at the front gates real quick. Uh, with the school gates locked, Wright didn't know what to do. Ah, you wanted to enroll at the Adventurer's Academy? Well then, you'll need a student guidebook as proof of your strength. Go to the well to get the guidebook and the smithy for a weapon. Oh, um... Quest update. Go to the well and the smithy so you can enroll at the Academy. Alright, thank you, person I totally do not know yet. Yep. Alright, let's look at the vase here. Right, inspected the pot. It's just a regular old flower vase. Oh, the vase broke. What? Uh, time, time to run. Uh, yeah, the vase was like that when I came over here. I totally did not break it by looking at it or anything like that. There are azaleas on the path to the school. Their nectar is sweet and yummy. Wright picked the flower and sucked out the nectar. His life was restored by one. That's a nice bit of a flavor. Alright, let's see what this bush is hiding. Oh! Roar! Roar, roar, roar! Roar, roar! Gotcha. I can talk. But everyone's so scared of me that they never want to talk. Ow, oh, poor bear. I'll know what to do. I know I'm a bear, but I want people to like me. Everyone's afraid of this bear. But if I redraw him a bit, he'll be a star. It's makeover time! Huh? What's going on? Arr, I'm ticklish! Oh, I see. He's redrawn into a panda. Okay, all done. Arr, you turned me into a panda. Now I'll be popular for sure. I don't know what to think of that. Pan, pan, pan. Am I doing it right? What sound do pandas make anyway? <laughs> That's a really good question. Hopefully it's nothing like the sound rabbits make. Alright, if you actually like put a rabbit in danger, they'll let out this really, really, uh, grating screech. So, yeah, don't, don't mess with a rabbit because, uh, it'll probably shock you. I am... Figuratively, not metaphoric, uh, literally. 
Right left the path to school and headed for the business district. Thud, thud, clang, clang, town's artisans gather here at the workshop. Page. Alright. Inspection time. Inspection time. Tap all of the exclamation points and see what's inside. That's a smithy over there. Dish, clang, dish, clang. It's like a beat. Is this how music was invented? I mean, I know, I know there are some tracks out there that actually use, like, metallic clangs as part of, like, their sound repertoire. Usually if you want something that sounds, like, really harsh and, um, like, let's see, intimidating, good, good sound to have. This is Balgus, a warrior who's going to help right fight Death Guard. Yep, I said it right this time. Whew. Gotta have a warrior in your party. He'll fight with right later on. Yeah, you gotta have some frontline fighters, yeah. right? I wonder if he's like tank or DPS. Ah, that's a boot. Is it like Karibo shoe? Isn't it surprising when you find a pin stuck in the sole of your shoe? Imagine if a pin was st stuck in the sole of this shoe. It would let us know very, very handily. That's a big log. One time I went camping and we used wood like this to make a big campfire. Hmm. Some cousins I hang out with love campfires. That's a park signboard. Make sure you follow the rules on the board when you play at the park. Also, you can keep up to date what events might be happening at the park. If you check it out and they keep it up to date, actually. That's just a regular old river. The river's trickling sounds so happy. Trickle on, little river. That yeah, river doesn't look very little to me, but okay. Is that supposed to be a North Pole? That's a half-buried magnet. I always stack the magnets on the board at school to make one big super magnet. You know, I used to do that, too. As Lil Red, she can be a bit silly. I mean, she did mistake a wolf for her grandma. And uh, is that why she's over here? Because she's like, all right, I'm just going to wait for the wolf to get bored and peace out. Oh, right, I forgot to look for the ninja. Let's look for the ninja. Where would you be? There you are. You found 11 of us. Another one down, another one down. Alright. Uh, let's go talk with everyone outside first, and then we'll go enter the smith smithy. I am a warrior. The sound of clanging metal is like a lullaby. I'm not gonna try to imitate snoring. Oi! I'm the foodie booty. I'm starving. Bring me my favorite food. Grr, you don't have it. You know what I mean? The sticky, stretchy food? You talking about like a gummy apple? I'm just a lonely magnet. The stream and I talk, but I want more friends. Hey, I want to be friends with magnets like me. Will you bring me some friends? Or if I find them. Alright, Lou Little Red, I need to warn you. Hi, I'm Little Red. I'm gonna see my grandma. She's staying at the inn. Wait, wait, come on. We gotta no! Gotta stop! No! Look! You're there's a wolf in there. The wolf wants to eat you. Fine. It's better not better not come back to this town to find Little Red missing, I swear to god. There's a board with a score on it, but that's for later. Let's move on. Alright then. That's a nice log. Oh, maybe this is gonna be like the smithy's test. Chop it, like 20 logs within the time allotted. Also, a real nice touch to have, right? Kind of walk under the sticky note, because, you know, he's on, he's on the paper of the page. He's not, not on a sticky note. Alright, let's go in here. The rhythmic clanging draws right to the smithy. Hmm, are you a swordsman? You look like a noob to me. Pull out that sword. Dun dun dun! Right, pulls out the rusty longsword. I made that sword when I was a noob myself. I think it suits you. Ha <laughs> ha! You can sharp sharpen your sword here. Even a rusty blade will be made good as new. 
right sharpen the rusty longsword with the blacksmith. Let me explain this new feature to Smithy. Off to the desktop. Oh. Wait, what? Is that a pencil sharpener? The smithy has been unlocked. Now open on the desktop. Right here. Put your sword in here to sharpen it. Right, puts his sword in the pencil sharpener. Er, I mean the smithy. Now steadily turn the handle clockwise. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, yeah, don't, don't need to tell me twice. Yeah, just like that. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, this is kind of inspired, actually, right? Turn it like you're striking hot steel. Also, the handle being repurposed to be the hammer. Yeah, okay, are we... Oh, there we go, good. Look at that! Ooh! Look, <laughs> look at that beautiful point. Plus 50 piercing damage right there, right? Oh ho, not bad. It looks about as sharp as you are. Go ahead, test it out. Ring, ring. Blacksmith's phone suddenly started ringing. Hello, Hammer Pizza. Oh, Mr. Evilwood, 132 slice pizza coming up. Ahem. <clears throat> Actually, I also run a pizza restaurant. Could you help me out? What? Wait, don't tell me you make pizzas on the same spot you, uh, forge source. That does not seem very, uh, food safe. It actually reminds me of a story I was reading on the internet about, uh, this guy apparently, like, brings in raw food because uh, he works at a like, construction site or something. He just uses, like, a metal spot. Right, normally we'll put work tools and stuff on it, but uses that to cook food. I think even the people in the comics are like, look, that's that surface is not as clean as you think it is. Right? It's like, sure, it seems fun on the surface, but like, look, there might be like metal shavings and, you know, detritus and oils and chemicals on that metal surface that you might not be able to get out with, you know, your regular cleaning materials. Anyways, that's all irrelevant to this thing. I just wanted to point that out. Right, decided to help make pizza. Order in. Cut the pizza over there with the... Okay, this is even worse. No, don't. It's... Uh, okay. Alright, practice round. Right's turn. Guess we just... Like that. Hey! You can't call it pizza if you only cut it into four slices. Keep cutting. Let's go. Remember, standard pizza is cut into eight slices. Eat pizza! Now it looks like... Now eight pieces! Now it looks like pizza! Butter shop is different. Keep cutting! Here we go. Hmm, 16 pieces. Do you think that's too much? Or not enough? Keep going. Well, you said it was 32 slices, so we're gonna just cut 32 slices. Don't cut it up too small, but... But... We're gonna end up doing that anyway. Okay, 32 slices. This is our specialty, the 32 slice pizza. Now, delivery mode. A chunk, ka ching. <laughs> Wait, now it's got like just a drone. <laughs> have drone technology in this world? Huh. Pizza drone complete. Deliver this to Mr. Evilwood. He's a regular, so get going. Sword cuts well, huh? Take good care of it, and clean off the cheese! Ah, uh, okay, that's strike three. Do not- do not lick cheese off the sword. There's a reason why they tell you to never lick a sharp knife. Even if you're, like, doing the utmost careful, being the utmost careful, you can still cut your tongue. What the hell, game? Ah. Hmm. Okay, back to the town page. Cycles are psych cool. Recycling is recycle cool. Huh. Whoa, the recycling magician came out of nowhere. You don't need that old sword anymore, do you? I can find a new home. Yeah, go ahead and lift that off of me, I guess. 
Oh, the recycling magician stole Wright's old, old sword. I'll recycle the sword and resurrect it as something new. We'll meet again the next time you get a new sword. Ta-ta for now. The recycling magician cycled home with Wright's sword and a big smile. He's weird, but he's not a bad guy. Don't forget your new sword. Be careful out there now. Wright got the pizza cutter longsword. I want that to be an actual merch. Quest update. You have you got what you need to enroll. Go to the Adventures Academy. And now next goal is to graduate. Okay, so I guess log chopping wasn't part of the test like I thought it would be. <laughs> Alright, on to the next page. I'll see what's gonna stop me. Oh right, the bridge. The lack of a bridge is what's stopping me. Right, reach the bridge to the Skull Forest and whoosh, suddenly whoosh a magic paper airplane. It's a letter from Lei. What's in it? But the airplane landed on the other side of the broken bridge. Oh no, so I guess we can't reach it. Boss! Boss Chicken! Ooh, he's not here. <sighs> Is he skipping work again? Ooh, you want to go across? Sorry, but Death God's army destroyed Piano Bridge. The carpenter's boss, the carpenter boss chicken can fix it, but it's probably at the tavern drinking the day away. Ooh, what to do? Guess I'll head back and start making bridge parts to fix the bridge. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, how are you going to read that letter? Go talk to boss chicken. Quest update, find boss chicken. Well, we know where boss chicken is. Oh, hey, I wonder if this minigame is open now. Ooh, ooh, you'll need some bridge parts to fix this bridge. Come here, I'll help. Cannot wait to see what sort of minigame we'll be playing here. Oh, well, they represent it. Alright, talk to me. Ooh, ooh, we can make the bridges... We can make the bridge parts by playing some wood chop. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna explain wood chop, so listen up. The rules are simple. I'll chuck some wood, and you chop it at the right time. Here's a chop button. Use it to cut up the wood. This is gonna be like a WarioWare minigame. You'll need 30 pieces of bridge parts. Chop away till you get 30. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's gonna be like baseball. Also, <laughs> the calculator returns. Ready? Go! Ooh, ooh. Let's do it. Yep. We cut it like we're, we're doing the samurai moves here. Look at that. Look at that. EI. Is, is it EI? Did you pronounce it EI? Or is it. Anyways, it's, it's the sheath sword style. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. 10 pieces, 20 more to go. Ready for the next level? Don't tell me you're gonna just. Why can't you just throw it regularly? You know, we get this done much more quickly if you didn't try to fancy it up. Or it's just faster now. Okay. Let's see if I can get them all in a row. That'll be my challenge. Probably gonna get even faster at 30 or 20. Ooh, 20 pieces, 10 more to go. On to the next level. This is a, okay. Now we're reward. Whoa, okay. Two at oh, three at a time. Wow, you tried to bamboozle me there with a the multi throw, but <laughs> it was a good try though. You know what, I'll applaud you for that. It's a good way. I probably would have gotten someone else on another day. Ooh hoo hoo! Thanks! That's all 30 parts we need to fix the bridge. Now we just have to give these to Boss Chicken at the tavern. Hmm? Enough! Jeez, you're amateurs! Your technique is all wrong! I'll teach you a lesson. Whoa, surprise attack! There's a wood demon secretly watching you! Oh, <laughs> battle time! The must-have camping essential Woody appeared. Oh my god, it's a log! Wait, and there was a ninja nearby too! Oh my! Hey, I'm Woody! Not to be confused with that other Woody in that Pixar movie. You know the one. You don't know the first thing about chopping wood, do you? But don't worry, I'm gonna teach you. First, cut off this twig I got growing here. Woody the Woods would like you to teach you how to chop wood. Your turn, right? First, let's uh, get this rock into the hole over here. Yeah, that line, taken out of context, would probably look pretty uh, suspicious. 
That not so much. Hold on, let me get this rock in here first. There we go. Well, it's a really long fall. Sploosh plus one. All right. Sixteen damage. That's it. This way you can stack the wood evenly. My turn. Never underestimate the power of wood, especially in the morning. Right, took one damage. You gotta split. Oh, jeez. That should be like 700 damage right there. It's not one damage. What are you talking about? Okay, next up is a quiz all about me. Listen up. How old am I? Take a guess. Um, count the rings, right? I'm assuming for simplicity's sake, each ring here is gonna be equivalent. Well, they don't even say. They just they just want us to count rings. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So about fifteen. You got it. I'm fifteen. Wow. You're like right in the ideal range of uh, RPG hero right there. Go ahead, count my rings. I've got one ring for each year I've been alive. Now I'm feeling even worse for beating you up. You're just a kid, man. Okay, time for my last tip. This is the real key to chopping wood. Bend your knees, aim for my center, and cut straight down. Aim for Woody's center and split him in half. Here we go. Final strike. Split down the middle. Chop! Arg! Woo! Oh, don't worry about us. That didn't hurt at all. We're actually twins. Oh, that's a relief. Not you know all about wood, you'll be the hero next time you go camping. And I can truly be laid back at camp. Sorry, I scared you back there. Don't worry, I'll just sit here quietly now. Woohoo, that scared me. Our wood is from Skull Forest, so demons get mixed in. I'm lucky you were here. Now go give the bridge parts to Boss Chicken. Right, got the bridge parts. Wait, where is he sticking, like, all 30 of those bridge parts? Wait, what I'm talking about? This is an RPG. Of course, it goes into inventory, like where everything else would go. All right, can I can I talk to you post post uh, chop here? Sorry for jumping up, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how to chop wood. So you were very helpful for that, actually. Thanks. I was hoping I would get an achievement for like not missing any, but it's not. Hey, right, want to help me chop some wood? You can never be too prepared. Ooh. Oh, let's do it. Let's see if this is gonna be like, uh, now we... Yeah, if you mess up, it's over. But if you do 30 in a row, I'll give you a prize. Ooh! Hope it's not the same sequence as it was, you know, during the other part. It's gonna be like, random numbers of tosses. Alright, the count starts when you chop your first piece. Ooh! Ready? Yeah. Go! Ooh, ooh! Here we go. going to be the exact same, isn't it? I'm gonna get 10 slow, 10 slightly faster, and then the final 10 will be uh, an attempt at bamboozlement. Also, I want to really throw me for a loop and start with five consecutive tosses. I feel like a time to chop this is like fairly forgiving, but I guess that makes sense considering you know, this is like an adventure game. Uh, first and foremost, so Kent is like a pretty good tapper. He taps that like channel. Yep, tried to throw me. Ooh, ooh I'll show you Trout Girl's true strength. Highest level. Ooh, ooh. All right, here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's it. So how many is that? Ooh, ooh, 33 pieces. Ooh, ooh, that was amazing. As promised, here's her prize. Dun dun dun! Right, got a gorilla banana! It's going right into inventory, isn't it? My after work stack, a banana. I'm sad to give it up, but you earned it. I'm out of bananas, but stop by if you ever want to chop more wood. Hmm. I had to check the achievements list and see if there's like an achievement for getting like more than 30. Probably 50, if anything. Maybe 100. I really want to make it an achievement. Alright. 
How convenient, the gates are just happen to be open. Oh, school started! Go take the lesson on adventuring! And then you got the balloon up here saying, Come on! <laughs> hey, come on, come on! Who? Terry Bogard right that banner there. Also, clothesline just hanging up there. Oh, unbelievable! That god's stupid army destroyed my bridge again! Tavern is noisy as a hen house. You should see what's going on. Kinda already did. Kinda already did. Okay, can we, can we go back here and attempt to stop the wolf, at least? Yep, someone's peeking through the window. We're going to open the door to investigate. Er, well, don't you look scrumptious too, but I'm too full to eat you. Hey, leave the wolf to me. Only academy grads can take something like this. Huh? Oh, I see. There's a hunter over there in the closet. Okay. Is this just gonna be like a progression of events? We're just gonna keep going in, we'll see the story prog- Oh, okay. No, it's a check mark, so that's... That's resolved for now, I suppose? Oh, hey. Wright found a cutout sta photo stand and properly stuck his face in it. Alrighty, say cheese. A chick. Another picture. Hey, oh, hey, you're making multiple faces there. Okay. Another one. Right, took a bunch of pictures and left the photo stand. Oh, we got experience for it. <laughs> And can I expect the barrel? No? Okay, fine. I'll say it! Barrel! There you go. Atelier reference, uh, completed. Tavern reeks, reeks so badly of alcohol that right started reeking too. <laughs> I see here we are, we got equipped with the scent of alcohol. Because that's a red exclamation point, so I guess we get to chat with them. Huh? You want me to repair Piano Bridge so you can re rescue the princess? Kakal, a waste of time. Even if I fix it, they'll just break it again. Fine, let's decide with a game of cup shuffle. Beat me and I fix the bridge. Time to face off with Boss Chicken. Let me set it up quick. This is the game Space Bam. Yep, that's what I thought. Actual cups. Once he said cup shuffle, I knew this was coming. Kaw, Kakal, ready. Okay, let's play. This is cup shuffle. You know the rules, don't you? I'll put an egg in one of the cups and shuffle them around. You just have to pick the cup with the egg in it. If you get it right, you win. Scott, keep your eyes open. Don't blink. First round is practice. I am there's still gonna be a trick to this. Okay, I'm putting the egg in the middle cup. And shuffle! Also, I like how they've rendered out like uh, the rest of this classroom here. You can see, see the additional desks in the background. You got the window over there. It peeks outside, you can decide you kinda of sorta of see a tree out there. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. You know, I mean, it's a one to one hundred chance, right? You get a shot like this, you're gonna need that sort of rendering out of the rest of the room. In any case, uh, let's follow the cup. Cacao! Ooh, getting faster. So, where's the egg? Which cup is it in? It's in the left cup. I was following it. That cup, huh? Let's take a look. Kakao? Got it? Not bad. Anyway, that didn't count. The next one's for real. We're gonna play best two out of three, stat. If you win, I'll fix the bridge just like I said. But if you lose, I get all your equipment and food. All of it. I feel like this is going to happen. Gonna do a little sleight of hand trick. No matter which cup I pick, it's gonna be the wrong cup. Alright. We don't get a choice. <laughs> you ready to bet all that on this game, or are you too chicken? Now that you make that pun, I just wanna walk out of this tavern, but for the sake of continuing this quest, let's uh, pick okay. I have a choice in the matter. Going in faster this time. Keep your eyes open. Also, the bet of a lifetime. So where's the egg? Which cup is it in? 
Well, logic says it would end up in the middle. I followed the cup. Let's see if, uh, it's in the middle. It probably isn't. Sure about that? Well, let's take a look. I knew it. <laughs> there's a there's a hidden trick to this. I was not paying attention. Fine, I'll cut you some slack. One more try. So where's the egg? Which cup is it in? Uh. Hold on. Did you lift up the cup? I think this is your attempt at bamboozling me. Considering that all three options are still here, I'm gonna pick the middle. Huh? You know there's nothing there, pick it there. Okay, you know, I forgot. They did lift the cup. Okay, fine. <laughs> hey, at least, uh, this chicken chicken here is, uh, benevolent. I was like, no, you already picked that one. Pick another one. Alright, let's go with the left. This one, huh? Let's see. Nope. Ka -ka -ka -ka. Nope, no egg here either. And the very last one is empty too. Ka -ka. How strange. Now hand over all your food equipment. Come on. Huh? It's not fair. You think I broke the rules? Too bad. A win is a win. Now hurry up and give me all your stuff. What a mean trick. Right was about to hand it all over. But then... Topple. Or what the trick is. C crack. Why? Kaka, the daughter. What are you doing, getting drunk and scamming people? Try working for once, Dad. I I'm sorry. I'll explain everything to them. Please don't tell your mother. All right, tutorial time. What? I'll explain how you can make sure someone never picks the right cup. Is it is it gonna have to do something with like velcro or tape or on the bottom of one of the cups or something like that? The trick to making the egg disappear lies deep inside the cup. Yeah, it's tape, isn't it? It's it's gonna be a piece of tape. Or no, it's a tab. With the egg deep inside, you just squeeze here and lift the egg with the cup. Even if someone picks the right cup, it'll look like the egg isn't there. Oh, you gotta be real good with your, um, perspective trickery. Hmm. And that's the secret to the disappearing egg. Alright, back to the game. Huh. I have to imagine this trick is no longer used in, um, on the street. Or if it is, they have to pick, like, at a very obvious spot where it's, like, pretty easy to bamboozle people. No experienced folk around. I just wanted to, uh, to help you, so you won't get tricked by any bad guys. Anyway, there's two problems with repairing the bridge. First off, I'll need to eat a Bavarian pudding before I can get started. And second, I don't have enough bridge parts. Go get some from Gorilla. Is straight up called Gorilla. Good call. You got the bridge parts already. Thanks. Oh man. <laughs> they got dialogue to account for the fact that you might have completed the bridge parts subpart first. Cool. All that's left is the Bavarian pudding. Go to the shop on Mount Bavaria. I'll work on sobering up in the meantime. I leave the rest to you. All right. Now it's um. Yeah. Quest update, get some Bavarian pudding to fix the bridge. Um, we're not actually going to use the pudding to directly fix the bridge, it's to feed the uh, chicken to uh, get them motivated to fix the bridge. Someone's peeking through the window. Right open the door to investigate. Oh, okay. And, uh, Hans fella. Alright, so... <laughs> This event will be taken care of off-screen, I have to assume. Okay. Well, let's go get the pudding. We're already on the, um... We're on the bridge sub-quest. We might as well continue that. Uh... Ah, here we go. This must be the path we gotta take, right? 
Mint. The snack shop loves a breeze. Go shake the tree near the lake. Tree near a lake, you say? Like this one? Or maybe this one. This one here has exclamation point. This tree was uprooted by a huge gust of wind. I think something more substantial. And we're off. Maybe they mean the tree on the other side of the lake. This is an animated tree, so maybe something will happen if we go to it. Hey, okay, it's red. Right, shook the big cedar tree. I promptly got smacked on the head by a falling branch or whatever cedar trees grow on their branches. What do they grow? Pollen went everywhere. That's a critical hit on Mount Dragon. <laughs> Mount Dragon sneeze ripped some trees out of the ground. Shake another one. Uh, we gotta do this multiple times to clear a path. That's another tree. You'll make a path through the forest in no time. But wait, where are the trees landing? I hope it's not like on someone's house or something. I guess we'll have to deal with the consequences of this later. Looking good, keep shaking a tree until the path is revealed. Oh, we just, we'll just shake this repeatedly until they say, yeah, you're, you're good now. So why do we gotta torment the poor dragon? All right, right, discover the secret path where could it, it leads to Mount Bavaria. We don't, that's not a question. It's not a question we need to ask. We know where this is going. Hopefully none of the, um, none of the dragon sneeze ended up on Mount Bavaria either, because you. Want to try our popular delicacy, Bavarian pudding? Just wait here. All right, let's line up. We're gonna have a little queuing up gag. Right, got in line for the Bavarian pudding. Or it's gonna be like all out by the time. Um, he reaches the top, isn't it? Right, chatted with the ants as he waited in line. I like waiting in lines. The longer I wait, the more excited I get. Well, lucky you. The longer I wait, the more impatient I get, and the more bored I get. Especially when I was a kid. Almost there. So close I can taste it. Bavarian Snack Shack, here we come. I do like that interlude cutscene here. Welcome, y'all. Please line up here. We shoot... We sure do appreciate your patience. The line moves on its own. If you want to leave, press left or right on the D-pad. But if you leave, you have to go back to the base of the mountain. Be patient. Alright, so we... Wait, entering help mode real quick. We gotta, gotta get this out of the way. Welcome, this is the Bavarian Snack Shack. I love Bavarian pudding, ice cream, and jelly, but pizza is my favorite. I like all of those. You can pet it, but be gentle. Gentle. It's an ant. Doesn't lining up for food remind you of eating in a school cafeteria? Trust me, you still do that when you're out of school, too. Anyways, let's get Meninja over here. And we get 12 of them. And that's it. Alright. Now we're back to waiting in line. Be patient. Pudding, thanks for waiting. Yummy, yummy Bavarian pudding. For a good thing no one here is a real hard ass. I always hate that. You get in the line, it's like <laughs> someone just holds it up with their hang ups. Thanks for waiting. This here's our specialty Bavarian pudding. Right, God, a Bavarian pudding. <laughs> it's an upside down jelly. Capsule. Oh, that's how oh, I like that. I really, really like that. Oh, that's that's real good actually. We used to get those all the time. We'd like a container of those when we go to uh, the Asian store when I was a kid. We get like a container of the, those little package jellies. They were real fun because you could just like put them to your mouth and just suck it all up in one go. It was 
was real fruity and gelatiny like. I was like, you know, individually packaged jello. It was fun. We appreciate you waiting all that time. Remember now, it's one per person. Break out everything for the quest. Go talk to the chicken boss. Alright, um, well, since we don't have to worry about being in a line anymore, I'll be inspect the rest of this home. You come again now, okay? But you said it was one per person. Or maybe if I, like, consume, or, you know, use the current pudding, I can go for another one. Of course, I gotta go through this again, but, eh, you know what? Rumor number one. If you got out of line, come back before you get caught. No, no one likes line cutters. I would, I would do not, I would not cut in line. I do not endorse cutting in line. As you know, when someone cuts in line, that's like super duper annoying. Right, so I, I wouldn't do that to people. All right, well, we, you want to leave? Yeah, yeah, I want to leave. Nothing else to do here. It took a few hours, but Wright kept waiting and got a Bavarian for Wow, it was that long. Wright escaped the line and went back to the base of the mountain. Good thing the passage of time is was abridged for that sequence there. Alright. Let us go to... Uh, wait, let's talk to you. Yep, I'm the head of Antver <laughs> Antvertising at the Bavarian Snack Shack. There we go. Dialogue complete. Alright. On to the next page. Back in the town. Something to say. If you don't know where to go, check the guide map. Alright, we're good there. So good here. And now we talk to you. Kaka! You got the Bavarian pudding! I was feeling a bit peckish. Aha, I see what you did there. Crocodoodle, yum! The sweetness, the tartness, and the texture. Thanks. Alright, that's everything we needed. Let's go fix that bridge. chuck a doodle doo Quest update. You got the things to fix the bridge. Now go to the academy. Oh, for the other half of the town sequence. I wonder if we can follow this guy. Can we follow this fellow back to the bridge? Next stop, Adventures Academy. Yeah, that's what you think. Or nope. Our boss chicken here just NPCs their way all the way back to the uh, requisite spot. And it's always a fun thing when, you know, they try to at least try to make things realistic in that sense where you see the the quest givers kind of walk away and do their thing once they're done their thing. But once they leave like the current area, the instance area, they just teleport to where they need to be next. Okay, can we go back in here, queue back up? Because I have to assume we don't have our Bavarian pudding in our inventory. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna fix out of here. I'm full. Back to exploring. We're gonna we're gonna line back up for some pudding. Let me let me add him. Yes, yes I do. Let me in there. Right, got an eye for another Bavarian pudding. Go back here. Yep, you can see other folks here trying to keep themselves busy. Other folks here is like uh, trying to trying to hang in there because like, oh man, you know you know that pudding is gonna come. See here, folks playing cards. Disappointingly, no one in here is like playing on their game consoles. Like these days, you'd probably expect like. At least two people with switches playing Smash Bros or Mario Kart or something like that, right? Also got the sign here, no soda. I have to assume that's no soda. Find ourselves back in this line to get another pudding. Sure likes to eat. I just want one of everything. So we just wait. And uh, we will wait. Wait for our pudding. Hopefully it's not a case of we get to the front. It's like, oh, sorry, it's only one pudding per day. Now off you go. Also, didn't this uh, giant pudding have like 
only just one thing cut out of it. Wait a second, you're a first-time customer! Enjoy your pudding! Oh no. Right, snuck a second barbarian pudding. Do you have bad eyesight, perhaps? We appreciate you waiting, waiting all that time. Remember now, it's one per person. <laughs> thanks. Ah, uh, reminds me... When I was a kid... And we would, like, you know, take trips to the supermarket. And they would have the free sample stands. Um, yeah, it's, it's a food. You can get food for the price of nothing. Grants is a tiny bit. And I thought I was being real smart tricking the system, right? I would I would go and get one thing, and then I'd take off my glasses, and then go back and get another sample. Like, you know, back then I thought I was being like the sneakiest, uh, most sly food grabber ever, but I'm pretty sure... Uh, the food stand person was just playing along and let me take another sample because hey, they're gonna throw them all away at the end of the day anyway. Why not let this um, seemingly, supposedly crafty kid just uh, get a second piece? <laughs> Probably it amuses them. They're, they're one of their very few bright spots they have in their day, right? Alright, now we will go do the Academy subplot. That'll be pretty involved, right? <laughs> right. Gotta be, like, some motivation for kicking, kicking this S around, right? We gotta we get something cool for hitting it into the right spot, but we knocked it into the vase. No, not there? Okay. Well, we knocked into the panda. No, not there either. Okay. If we knocked it into... No. Does it appear in the next screen? Alright, on to the next page. Oh, there it is. There's the S stone. Alright, I'm guessing we can kick this onto the bridge? Nope, the bridge is where it stops. Oh, wait! Wait, you wanted the thing, right? There we go. Right, kick the magnet he saw on the road. It's stuck to the lonely magnet. A, a hug? We've only just met. What a bold friend I've made. Thanks, right? Okay, look. If that magnet is hugging you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, please tell me it's no good and I'll remove the magnet right away. A.S. I know we're close and all, but I still need some personal space. Do you, do you need my help? I can just, you know, grab that S right off of you. You are allowed to say no. You can say no, and then you can get out of there. Or, never mind the second part. You can say no. At least, no is a complete sentence. Actually, off to the academy arc. Always gotta be one of these, right? The... Enter the Adventurer's Academy and take lessons? Yes, let's unroll. <laughs> this is just gonna be like the Shadows Over Loathing College where we uh, take all the classes we need in, in six hours. Slide! Right, made it to the Adventurer's Academy. Whoa, who's there? Hmm? A new student. Um, are you a student too? You should sit down before the teacher comes. Hoo 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 hoo! Are you an owl? All right, everyone, let's begin our class for today. Hoo hoo! We have a new student today. Welcome to the Adventures Academy. I am Mr. Houtini, and I'll be your teacher. Let's all introduce ourselves. I'm Pot. I'm a magician from the Kingdom of Magic. I'm still in training. But one day I'll become the most powerful magician in the world. My name is Ouida. I'm a scholar from the Animal Kingdom. I study demons. 
You smell like the sun. I think we'll get along great. <laughs> Ooh -hoo, this is right. He just came to Porchtown, so make him feel welcome. There we go, fulfilling the role of mute hero, as usual. Hey, 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 I'm Anna. I'm from the Kingdom of Sand. I've studied all over the world, so I know a lot about history and trade. I'm be switching voices in the middle of the same line, character lines. <laughs> oh, you woke up just in time. I'm Balgus, Kingdom of Warriors. Good night. Woohoo, what brilliant young students we have here. Well, let us begin. First, has anyone heard of the saying, knowledge is power? Yes, I have watched School, school uh, was it Schoolhouse Rock as well. Yes, yes I have. I love the saying. It means that strength can come from the mind too. And to improve the mind, we need to study. First period is on adventuring. In this course, we will study how to prepare for an adventure. Well then, let me pass out your materials. These are from the King of Light. Whoa, Wright got the magic castanets. Ha, huh, all right then. Oh, hoo Of course, these are no ordinary castanets. Go on and tap them. I guess we'll get it. Ah. It says menu? All right, we'll press escape. Okay, all aboard. We're off to the desk. Oh, the desktop menu. So now this is where it gets unlocked. Also, I like how the train is on an eraser. This is the desktop. Allow me to explain its features. This is the treasure post. You can draw whatever you want on the paper here. To change the game settings, go to the options tower. And Smithy is the place to go for all your weapon sharpening needs. Next up, the legendary medals. Progress through the story to earn these. Last but not least, the get ma great, magnificent, stupendous, splendiferous, fantastic, legendary, ultimate, wonderful, great. No, they already said great. <clears throat> World map. Ooh, isn't this exciting? But for now, you only get to see one thing up close. Ah, there comes the key. What's that key holding on to anyway? Clink! A new feature has been unlocked! The treasure post! Ooh hoo! Everyone gather round! This is a treasure post area. You can draw whatever your heart desires on this paper. Hey, hey, Mr. Houtini. I don't see how this helps with adventuring. Who? It doesn't! It's just fun! Why don't you just draw something? Ooh hoo! Okay then, I'll draw a Moai! Hoo hoo! Then right, why don't you draw a self-portrait? Watch, watch, here we go. Here, get to check out my mad artistic skills. Here's a template, but don't draw Wright's face. Draw your own face. Um, the explanation. <clears throat> if you want to start over, push this button. There's an eraser over here. Feel free to use it if you make a mistake. When you're finished with your drawing, push this button to let me know. That's everything then. Drawing time, begin! Hoo hoo! Alright. Alright, you ready? You ready for this? Ready to see my fantastic artistic skills? Here we go. resemblance is almost uncanny, don't you think? Let me go ahead and record that. Are you done drawing? Yes, I am. Let's uh, save that masterpiece for posterity. Ooh, who? This is amazing! What a lovely self-portrait. 
Okay, everyone, that's all for desktop training. Time to return to class. Wasn't the desktop just wonderful? Be sure to thank the King of Light. The magic castanets are a gift for you all. Try them once you've graduated. Basically, it's just a menu button. Huh. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Hutini. That's all for first period. There are four periods with no breaks in between. Here we go. Part two. Second period. Demons. We'll study the evil beings who wish to rule the world. Demons are divided into three ranks. Low, middle, and high rank. Wow. Right, quick, everyone. Look shocked. Ruling over all demons is the Demon King, Death God, our mortal enemy. Let's start with the weakest, the low rank demon. Behold! Who? Question What is this demon called? Raise your hand if you know. Here you go, the I know button. Push this button while holding down up to make right raise his hand. Alright, let's do it. Ooh, hoo! Right, I see you're very excited. Ooh, hoo! Well then, what is this demon called? It's called. Iron Man. That's correct! Great job! Now, a bit more about the Fireman. Some demons can actually coexist with some people. The Fireman is one such demon. Wood demon is also another demon. If you give it wood, it'll live in the stove and keep you warm or help you cook. Ooh, but it is a fire demon, so here's a hot tip. Don't touch it. Like you wouldn't touch a real fire. Well then, on to the next demon. Woohoo! Or oh, hooey! This here is the middle rank KG. Now, the KG is a bit of a strange demon as it hides in an iron cage. But it is a bit tricky to handle. Now, let's think about its weaknesses. You know, I'm feeling a little cagey. Uh, what? Looking at this picture already. <laughs> one by one, I'll read out three possible weaknesses of the KG. Raise your hand when you think what I say is right. But you only get one try. Hmm. Alright. Let's, let's, uh... Let's try to think about real quick what the cage's weakness might be. So I think one of them might be a key, right? A key would let you escape a cage. Another one I think might be lightning, because metal. Um, another one might be water, because, again, metal make it rust. Uh, let's see what we have here. I think its weakness is fire magic, raise your hand. Hot! He got it wrong, didn't he? Anyone else? I'll reveal the answer at the end. If you think the weakness is the back of its cage, raise your hand. Ooh, hoo, Anna. Wait, 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 wait. Weeda is the animal expert, right? Maybe uh, she might know this. Weakness is the front of its cage, raise your hand. All right. Hoo, hoo, Weeda. And right. Okay, anyone else? Definitely not Valgus. Ooh, that was the last one, so the correct answer is... Three, the front of the cage! Who? Right, and we'd have guessed correctly. Let's give them a round of applause. Oh, thank you, thank you. Did we get the bow, at least? I do know a lot about animals and demons. Ha ha, I do it! Ah, yeah, look at me figuring this stuff out. Offhand and not having to consult a guide. I rule. It is theorized that the cage creates its cage using materials it finds. Like the name it applies, it must really like its home. As for me, I like ski. Call me ski. -y. I can fly, so I don't use the lifts. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, next up, a high rank demon. Call this one Tentacly. Okay, lightning round. Are you ready? These are easy, so the fastest one wins. Wait, wait, what? Here we go, this demon is called... Oh, wait. Ooh, that was fast. Well done, right. What is this demon called? It's called, um... Cyclops. One eye. What? Sorry you need to wait until I'm done. Shall we try again? Huh? Okay, fine. We'll wait. 
The Cyclops, where is its weak spot? Oh. <laughs> where is this demon's weak spot? Eye. Correct. With an eye this big, eye drops would be a breeze. If you ever take down a Cyclops, she'll be the pride of your kingdom. Next, we're going to talk about a very, very dangerous demon. Even more powerful than high rank demons are ultimate rank demons. This demon is the ultimate rank mystery turtle. We ran into one of those, right? Well, Weeda, you're a demon expert. Do you know this demon's weak spot? No. Ooh, ooh, that was a bit of a trick question, so don't feel bad. The truth is, no one knows. Neither magic nor weapons can pierce its shell. Ooh, I pray that none of you ne ever meet this demon. Let sleeping turtles lie. I feel like we're inevitably gonna run into one of these then, right? That's how these usually go. Oh man, look at this ultimate foe. No one's ever figured out how to defeat it. It just wipes everything out, man. All but guarantees that you're gonna face one of these down the line. It's the end of second period, but we have no time for breaks. On we go. Okay, real quick. Can we just go back to that Cyclops question? I can't believe they s deliberately set that up to bamboozle us. They even had choices. They had choices to make it look like, oh ha, yeah, look at that. We we got we got the quick draw on them, and then no, it actually, you were you jumped the gun a bit too much there. It reminds me of that. Uh, was that that um that one uh, series that was about quiz bowls, where they actually went over that kind of stuff too, where it's like. Um, yeah, the questions can be written in such a way that uh, might penalize those who might try to uh, get one in before the questions is finished reading, right? <laughs> Where they start off in a way that makes you think one thing, but the question is actually going to ask something else if you bother to listen to it all the way through. And then they were trying to go, it's like, yeah, so there are certain phrases and words you gotta try to train your ear to look out for so that you know kind of try to estimate get yourself a accurate enough estimate to where you think the question is going to lead so you can throw an answer out there mm. anyways we're back back to business here we have no time for breaks on we go period three or third period all about magic all right uh, i'll see you later no I'm kidding Pot, as our magician in training, can you explain magic to the class? Hey, that's discriminatory. Y yes, magic is a mysterious power that science can't explain. Magic can be used by performing spells and drawing magic circles. Ooh, hoo, hoo, you've been studying hard. Let me add just a bit more. Not anyone can use magic. It's a skill requiring extensive practice to use. Princess Lay's light magic is very unique. It alone can oppose Death God. Also, using magic can be dangerous. You need to be careful how you use it. Ooh, today we'll be studying low-risk summoning magic. Oh no, this is how you get Dementors. You want Dementors because this is how you get Dementors. With summoning magic, you can call on all kind, you can call on kind spirits or demons to help you out. Well, you know what they say: seeing is believing. Hoo hoo hoo! I will use, now use summoning magic to summon a demon. Hoo hoo! And don't tell me, you're gonna call this demon Wilson? A little, little tuft of grass on top there, draw the face in red paint, and then call him Wilson. Yeah. Cut, 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 KG! It's the pet that grows. Hoo hoo hoo! It worked! This is a KG. Remember it from our lesson? Yeah, we kick it in the face, right? Kikiki, nice to meet ya. This is a class, so I'll be gentle. Right, please come up and fight this KG. It's like a pop quiz. Hoo hoo! <laughs> clang, ka clang. Do you remember where the KG's weak spot is? Yeah, yeah, I do actually. Clang, ka clang, a KG has appeared. Kiki, don't tell me you want to set me free. I like my cage. Kiki, know why I turned around? Or did you forget the lesson already? For its turn, the cagey will turn in the direction of your attack. Try it. Yeah, I know. I know how to do this. I remember the lesson. 
Now just let me um, push this rock into the hole over here. Give me a moment. Uh, patience, my friend. Will I come in? Sorry, the leaf it's from you. There we go. this part here. Good. Key, key, key. I'm getting dizzy. Zero damage. Also, I like how the handle is in the shape of a hand. My turn. Feel the power of the cage. Oh, seven damage. That hurt more than a dresser corner. Pretty sure that would help. Also, imagine it being made of metal probably helps too. Has anyone ever gotten actually accidentally hit a dresser corner? It actually does hurt. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a point. It's a point that's kind of hitting a thing, and you didn't expect it, and it's, like, a lot more force than you probably wanted to do it, so... Yeah, it would hurt, like, the dickens. Brit's turn! Everyone in class is cheering you on! Show them a good fight! Face! Oh no! My front side is facing you! My turn! Feel the power of the cage! Yep. Same mark, really? Alright, time to finish this. I'm gonna... Boom. What? Huh? Isn't the front of the cage the weak spot? Do I have to like specifically hit you in the face hole? All right, let's try that again. We're gonna uh, maybe smack your hand. Over here. There we go. Right, hit the cagey through a gap in this cage. 58 damage. That explains why the front is the weak spot. Hee 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 hee, you were paying attention, huh? Nice work, adventure and training. Who? Well done, right? Let me restore your life. Oh, thanks. You gonna give me a Bavarian pudding? Right, was completely healed by Mr. Futini's magic. So wait, what happens if I would got, like, to critical HP? I wonder if I got, like, the critical status, um, Houtini would have caught it. I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I can see you didn't quite grasp the last lesson here. Call off the fight. Let someone else come in there and finish it off. <laughs> Not bad, but I'm out. Stay in school so you can get a nice cage like me someday. Remember, stay in milk. Uh, get some... What is it? Get some school. Remember to eat all your drugs. Don't actually eat all your drugs. Do not take any drugs unless you're prescribed, or you know what you're doing with them. Got that? Thank you, KG. Now, be careful when drawing magic circles. If you mess up even one single line, you could summon the wrong demon. That's gotta be foreshadowing, right? Someone's gonna try to bamboozle us with the wrong summoning circle, and we end up summoning something real bad. Well, once you study as long as I have, you won't make mistakes. Never say you won't ever make mistakes. Even the most experienced level could do it. Next up, warp magic. A high level magic useful for teleportation and escape. You can do many things with warp magic as I've got feathers. I'll gotta give you a special warp magic show. Ready? Are you gonna warp the entire classroom? Ooh, enjoy a nice hot big potato whenever you need a snack. Ooh, see who you want when you want. Wanna do tic-tac-toe on the board? Oh no, it's my tormentor. Get him out of here. How about one more? Uh, hmm? Ooh, you can also sneak up on your enemy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. He just poofs everything out. Oh, keeps the potato, of course. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome, Mr. Houtini. <sighs> Ooh, it, it was, wasn't it? Ooh, was that the bell? Seems that our lessons have come to an end. Wait, wasn't there supposed to be... Oh, okay, fourth period is the graduation test. I hope you've all paid attention. Now we warp to the field. Wah, wah, warp! Wait, you, see, you sounded tired. Well, we get warped anyway. To the back of the school. <laughs> Look at this anachronistic uh, equipment we got here. We got a sandbox. We have uh, the the basketball hoop here. We got 
soccer net, or football net, depending on where you are in the world. Is that supposed to be like a planter? A seed planter, or a line layer, maybe? Feel the sunflowers? I see this one's got a frowny face. Why is it so unhappy? Uh, I'm guessing that's like the foot wash. And that, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe it's a clothes hanger? Or is it just like those poles that you slip between to kind of kind of do your agility exercises? Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Anyway. Also, is that a sniper tower? It's got to be a sniper tower, right? <laughs> right. Was warped to the field. Passed the test and graduate from the academy. We're gonna fight as a party, as a Final Fantasy V person party here. Ooh! Now that everyone's here, let's do a warm up. Ooh, hmm. But the field is a bit unkempt. The grass is very long. Ooh, I know. We can tidy up the field as our warm-up. Okay, your job, right, your job is to cut the grass. Chop, chop. Ooh, we're actually gonna fight the grass, huh? Okay. Ooh, looks like everyone is in place. Please tidy up the field until not a blade remains. Ooh, ooh, get to it. Not a blade remains until the one you're holding in your hand. Except for the one holding in, you're holding in your hand. Right, the grass won't cut itself. Sorry, I, let me guide this rock into here first. Okay. Let me cut, cut as many times in the row as you want. Let me cut that now. Okay. I do like how um, the lines appear here. Ooh, hey, was that a Gradius reference? We KO'd that bug Gradius style. Let's go. 100 points. All right, how many more? How many more crystal flies? I assume there's a crystal fly. Where are crystal flies? Okay. That okay, that's a reference to a classic game as well. All right, are there any more? Oh, here's another one. Oh, that one just just falls down. Okay, I think we're recy recycling back around to the first one, so... Yeah, okay. Alright. Now we're gonna cut some grass and cut this bug. No, can't cut the bug, okay. I'm gonna try to leave that flower alone. Oh, there's another one. I see some of the ground now. Stubborn weeds look like radish sprouts. What's back here? Woohoo, just a bit more to go. Can we, can we get that gem? Oh. Uh, you guys didn't see anything. There was totally not a gem there. No, no siree. This part and this part. That's, that's all of it, right? Woohoo, fabulous. The feel looks better. Who? Right, you look a bit that satisfied. To be honest, I feel the same. Don't worry, there's still plenty of weeds right this way. Oh, another, another zone to cut up. Are we ready for seconds? I see fish and instruments and even a stray dog. Who? Right, it's mowing time. Please cut the grass and make the field look nice. All right, but first, uh, the rock. Cutting all the bugs first. Ah, that was a Mega Man death. That was a Mega Man death. I know where that. I, I I know that animation anywhere. <laughs> Not sure where that. Oh, is that um Dig Dug? Because the enemies there explode because you pumped them full of air. Oh, oh dear. A uh, zombie crystal fly. Hmm. That foreshadowing. That's uh, just a classic game. Maybe it's a Mario reference. Mario dies like that. Okay, we're cycling references. It's time to cut the grass. Can we cut this can, maybe? Go right, go! Cut that grass, make it pay! Okay, it's getting knocked over to- Oh, are we gonna get to knock it into the trash can? Hey! No fair! I was about to, you know, do my part as a citizen. How dare you pull that trash can away at the last second. What is this, peanuts? Oh, according to the sticky note, it got its way in anyway. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, snap, um... That guitar was like that when I found it. I, I swear it was. Oh, hey, we cut up the... We, we gave the food away here, trip too. Maybe I should have cut the other things on the other screen. Some sort of sight gags they had there. Let's cut up this fish. I think it's gonna turn into sushi. What do you think? Oh, it's chopped fish, that's for sure. Let me cut it again. There we go. Look at that. Mmm. All ready to consume. Oops, cut it away. Click the dog again. No, it just sleeps away. Woohoo! Incredible! The field looks beautiful. Great job, right? Still haven't had enough? Well, there are always more weeds. Hoo hoo hoo! I'm only joking. Ah, I thought Rule 3 was gonna be the play here. Looks like everyone has finished up. Well, then, gather around, everyone. Oh, look at that. All cleaned up now. Hoo hoo! Great work, all of you. Alright, that's it. Um, I'm good. Adventure's over. I'm going home. I'm kidding. Though, our worm took longer than expected. Now, what you've all been waiting for. The graduation test. You must all work together to defeat the demon I will now summon. Your opponent is a middle-ranked demon. Please wait while I summon it. Er, There we go. He's gonna screw up the summoning sign. He's gonna pull up something real tough. It's been a while since I drew drawn this magic sign. Please consult the reference material. You do have reference materials, right, Mr. Houtini? Do not, do not do this by memory. You've got five students on the line here. Don't, don't screw this up for me. It's a real good thing this is like a comedy adventure. Imagine if this was like, you know, one of those more realistic adventures. <laughs> and that summoning sign goes wrong. Five students would be paced. And then the series follows the teacher as he gets over the guilt he had for screwing up the summoning sign because he was overconfident. That actually sounds like a good premise for a series. Ideas free. Er, I think this part was sort of like this, and this part was... who? Here we go, it's time for the screwed up summon. Out comes Godzilla! Oh, there he is, Mystery Turtle. Mr. Houtini messed up the circle and summoned the legendary demon. Now this is where it goes south. Ooh! An ultimate mystery... Oh, oh, an ultimate rank mystery turtle? How can it be? Everyone, run! Uh, Mr. Houtini's blasting off again. Mr. Houtini! Mr. Houtini! Don't worry, your death wasn't in vain. We'll avenge you! We can't let it get away with this. Time for turtle soup. The mystery turtle. This is a great opportunity for study. Can we befriend it? What? This is impossible! There's no way we can defeat it! The demon that appeared is the mystery turtle. Its weakness is still unknown. With everyone's help, maybe you can solve the mystery of its shell. Wait. Are there stains on this page? Guess we'll find out. What? Why? How? A mystery turtle appeared! Roar! I... Beat you! What? An ultimate rank demon? Run! This giant turtle is so full of mystery. It's Wright's turn. Uh, but first, rock time. We're gonna go ahead and steer this rock into the. Uh, this, this bit over here. Alright, there we go. Uh, okay, I'm guessing the first few parts are going to be destined for failure, so why don't we just, uh, just hit some random spot, like, uh, over here, in this hole, right? Uh, it's gotta be, whatever is inside has gotta be weaker than the shell, right? Nope. No damage! I knew we couldn't win! My turn! Crush! Right, took three damage, watch your head. Really? Now for an ultimate demon, you're kind of weak. Even even KG hits harder than you. What do you have to say about that? 
Ah, I, I can't do this. Pa ran away. No. Okay, I'm up. What if we both try hitting a shell at the same time? Hey, right, help me out. Help me out. Let's try a cross attack. I'll strike first, then you follow with another attack to make it X shape. If we aren't quick enough, the cross attack will fail. Strike right after me. You ready? Yeah, let's do this. Combination art. What, what do you call it? Cross attack super 14. Roar strong 14 damage. Some weird symbols appeared on the mystery turtle's shell. Is this a tic-tac-toe thing? Is it gonna be a tic-tac-toe thing? Ooh! I know this pattern. I've seen it in ancient text. It's a protective magic circle. It makes the shell totally invincible. But don't worry, I remember how to... Diffuse the sp... Diffuse? I think diffuse is the right word here, right? It's not defuse. Defuse is what you do to a bomb or to a really tense situation. The ancient text said you must hit the number three to defuse it. But which one is three? Well, just hit a symbol that looks like three. It's the cup. It's a cup. Look at the handles. It's got a three on it. All right, this is a two. Roman numeral tool. That's six fingers being held up. There are nine grapes on this bunch of grapes here. That's just a straight up number five. That's the word for the number seven. Uh, this snow person is made up of two giant snowballs and that's uh, one carrot. So this is three. This is three right here. Arr, stop it! Two damage! Really? Two damage, not three? Yeah, you almost had it. You almost had it there. That's it. The magic on his show is weakening. My turn! Make you soup! Oh no, please don't. Trust me, human soup is very unpleasant. Oh, there's our three damage. Next up, a math problem. 14 plus 16 minus 25. Hit the answer. I'm not good at mental math. 14 plus 16 minus 25. You can do it, right? That's five. Arr, stop it! Two damage! Ding, ding, ding. Correct. The writing disappeared. My turn, make you see This gets three damage. At this rate, it'll turn you into a pancake. Surprisingly, it hasn't already. I think, again, this is not realistic or else, uh, you know, would have, would have done that first try. Okay, I'm up. Let's try to cross attack again. You ready? Let's do it. Ready? Now! Yeah! There we go. It's a dual tech. That's what, that's the term I was looking for. Dual tech. From, um, uh, a Chrono Cross. Wait, wait, wait. No, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Had, like, dual techs and triple techs. Strong! 14 damage! Patterns reappeared on the shell. Okay, there's the patterns. Now it's my turn. The book said we have to hit three numbers with circles in them. Numbers with circles? Right, you get it, right? This is the last step. Okay, numbers with circles. So, uh, six, eight, nine, right? That's, that's what they're getting at. So... Hit the row of numbers with circles in them. Oh, I get it. Okay, so the snowman is supposed to be an 8. It's not supposed to be a 2. This is already a 2. This is supposed to be shaped like an 8, so... Like this! Dude! Come on! I, I wanted to hit the whole row. That's, that's what I was doing. I didn't want to hit just... Oh, alright. My turn, make you suit. Yep, and... Oh, 2 damage, okay. Getting a little weaker. Yep, three numbers with circles in them. Okay. And like that. There we go. Rawr, stop it! Two damage! You got it! You lifted the magic on his shell! My turn, Rawr! Oh boy, okay. Oh, it's come out of the shell. It's serious now. Finally, it's my turn to shine. I did some research while you were fighting. Has a stony spike that makes the skin all over its body super hard. The stony spike has a specific smell. It should smell like coffee. Hm. A 
but the smells are all mixed up. I can't find the weak spot. Right, can you figure out which spike smells like coffee? Okay, Wright's party's turn. Have you unraveled its mysteries? Well, now now we know what the stains are for. It smells like coffee. Well, if you assume coffee is brown, this is the brown spot right here. Well, then there's another brown spot right here. I wonder if they're trying to bamboozle us. It's like, oh, ho, ho, you thought it was this one, but it's actually this one. That's it. I wonder how much uh, the, the mystery turtle attack is going to hit. All right, well, let's go. Let's go hit this one. See what happens. Ah, it was the right one. Okay. Grr, my weak spot. All right, this is it. Right, I'm leaving the rest to you. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, special move slot. To oh yeah, I forgot about this. Let's go. Right, spots. Slots are spinning. Come on, special move. Push the buttons to stop the slots. See, you can try to stop it at unfair, so it goes after legendary. There we go. Legendary. Uh, I saw a move, move, view. Okay. And it comes after eraser dust. Okay. So wait for eraser dust to come on by. Yeah. And I saw pizza. Let's see if we can stop it at pizza. Uh, thunder comes after thunder, so let's see if we can hit pizza. Ah, I got a missile! Ah, that's okay. A new special move popped into Wright's head! Take that, special move! Unfair! Move! Missile! <laughs> Are those steel chairs? Is that why they went with unfair? Because, you know, it's like... <laughs> You win! Grr, my shell! I lose! You defeated the mysterious ultimate rank demon, the mystery turtle! The, incidentally, the demon that's never found out, that, that's never had its weakness found out for some weird reason. Dun dun dun! Right leveled up! Max life increased by 10 to 50. Right's attack went up by 2, his defense went up by 3. Right, solved the demon's mysteries and got way stronger. Let's head back. Okay, can we... Ah, uh, no. Yep, erase the turtle out of the way. Yay! We beat an ultimate rank demon. We're awesome. I'm awesome. That was close. Who knows what would have happened if you guys weren't here. Yeah, but do you think Mr. Hutini is okay? He's a teacher. He's gotta be. And we aced that test, so we've graduated. That's true. Guess this is it, then. What are you guys gonna do now? I'm gonna travel all over the world and become a great historian. I'll continue my research here and share the results with the Animal Kingdom. I'll head back to the Kingdom of Warriors. Death God's army is coming. What about you, Pot? I'm, I'm sorry for running away from the battle. Right, everybody. I promise I'll help next time. I know what to do. I'm gonna save everyone from the evil witch. Really? Wow, be careful. It's okay to run away from when things are dangerous. <laughs> Words to live by. Or as uh, um, Kenny Rogers might put it, you gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting when the deal is done. <clears throat> what are you gonna do, right? I'm gonna save my princess. Cross piano bridge and go into school first, eh? I hope the princess is okay. Ooh, hoo hoo! Congratulations, everyone! You've all graduated! No, not the graduate. Oh, wait, no, different graduation. <coughs> Ooh. So, how's my acting? Did you believe it? Ah. Uh, you know, I don't know why I did not suspect that. Of course, of course it would be... It would all be for a show. Huh? 
Mr. Houtini, I was all staged. Should have known the demon couldn't take you. Hoo hoo hoo. Anyway, you all of you have passed. Come get your certifications. Or you could just stand right there and uh, let them come to you. This is an adventure seed. It's a special plant that levels up with you. This tiny seed will grow into a large flower that will help you in a pinch. Till then, please be sure to take good care of it. Well then, everyone, it's time to start adventuring. Congratulations again. After a bittersweet farewell, right head off for Skull Forest alone. Oh. After a brief celebration, everyone parts ways, goes, does their own thing. Huh. So we didn't end up uh, assembling a party. You can cross Piano Bridge now that you've graduated and try the castanets too. Yeah, why don't I do that? First, let's talk to you, Mysterious Coin. What do you have to say? <laughs> I'm the Metal King. Do you want a medal? Uh, yes? Okay, here you go. One gold medal just for you. Check it out on the desktop. Huh. That was easy. Do I get to speak to you again? <laughs> I'm the Metal King. How awesome are medals? Pretty awesome. I know in uh, Dragon Quest, you can get little medals that you can trade in for awesome stuff, at least. Let's see, we unlock the post box feature. Yeah, that's got a check mark. Oh, hey. Still got things to say. Alright. I work at a restaurant. As an ingredient, I've been in Takoyaki. Uh, Ceviche? Is that how you say that? Haha, <laughs> got you. My humor, my humor's as dark as my ink. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, I, I guess we're done here. There another. Uh, oh right, that boot wanted something stringy, right? Something stretchy. Fulfilled the requirements for it. Let's see, talk to you. Hey, you got okay. More palindromes. Are you gonna throw some more at me? Ah ha ha! Hey, that's that's also a palindrome. Why is that not in yellow? Hmm, anyway, it's me, Mr. Upside Down. Yay! I'm a civic leader. I like a kayak and I like tomatoes. Okay, nothing new to say. I, I think. I do still have an exclamation point. Alright, over here. Do we get to see the resolution of this? Something's peeking through the window! Right, open the door to investigate. Oh. Oh. Ah, Gah, my stomach hurts. I must have eaten too much. I saved the girl. I put a rock in the wolf's stomach in her place. And so the wolf was exterminated and Lil Red was saved! Hip hip hooray! Uh... Wow. Um, hooray, I guess, but, uh, yeah, okay, I mean, problem was resolved, but, hmm. I just like how it straight up says, yeah, Wolf is gonna gonna die because he has a freaking rock in his digestive system now. Alright, let me talk to you here. Sticky, stretchy food. Sadly, no, I do not have that. Maybe I'll collect that in, like, the next zone. Uh, what do you got? This sure is an exciting inn. I got to sleep inside a wolf. It was so fun. What? Here the whole time. Like. Okay, so it's not a one for one retelling of the little red riding hood fairy tale. It's actually a lot worse. On to the next page, where the bridge is fixed. Oh, look at that piano bridge. <laughs> New bridge sure looks nice and sturdy. 
This text box avatar so reminds me of Shin Chan. Also, hey. <laughs> Hello, Molecular Shadow Fox. Welcome. <laughs> and, yeah, I guess now you mention it. He does look like <laughs> Crayon Shin Chan. <laughs> this new bridge looks nice and sturdy. Boss Chicken knows what he's doing. Hey, right, check it out. Piano Bridge, good as new. Ka ka ka! Ka ka! Congratulations, I hope you learned a lot. Well, now you can cross. You'll be the first to cross the new improved Piano Bridge. Enjoy! But first, let me show you something. Watch closely. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. This week was pretty fine, all things considered. <laughs> um, yeah, how are you? You step on a piano plank, it activates a springboard in the river. Huh? Get the timing right, and you can launch fish right up into the air. Step on the plank when a fish reaches this line. Oh, this spot here, okay. Well, you'll figure it out. Give it a try. Alright. Practice time. Press this button to play the piano. Ready to make your debut? Yep, let's go. Hey, nice! Oh. You're a pro! Nice! Oh man, this is really like guitar here, ain't it? Not too bad, thanks. Taking a break from restoring my car. I'm getting burned out with it. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's good if you, you know, if you know you can feel yourself <laughs> getting burned out. Yeah. Alright, good to step back a bit. I'm gonna let your, let your inspiration recharge. Alright. Now, now we get to play for real. <laughs> Song! London Bridge is falling down. Do you really want to play that? That does not feel like uh, the appropriate tune to be playing. For a bridge that was just fixed. Hm. A one, a two, a go. I think you're supposed to say a three. All right, anyway. Yeah, look at that. I got them all. Good call. That does it. Hey, 24 fish? That's perfect. You're an actual prodigy. Yeah, eat it. All that guitar hero skills paid off. Dark version of London Bridge is a fun listen. Ha! <laughs> no, it's really fun when you realize that all of the old chants, all the old songs used to uh, sing on the playground back in the day. They're actually a lot more sinister than you thought they were. Like, uh, Ring Around the Rosie. <laughs> Man. That song is actually real dark when you think about it. Caw! Oh, that was fun. Is that letter for you? You should read it. Yeah, now let's do it. Advance the plot. Wright gave his final bow and picked up the fishy smelling paper airplane. Alright, interlude time. I mean, as like an interview, not anything. Oh, here we go. Star Wars mode engaged. A fun song for kids about the plague. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? When, when they say we all fall down, they mean we all fall down permanently. And there's a reason why people say ashes, ashes, because the bodies fall down, well, we gotta get, we gotta take care of them somehow. <laughs> testing, testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> right, how are you? It's me, Princess Lei. That god's army is now taking me through a maze-like forest. I saw him scatter many strange plants and fruits through the forest. Right, I know you like to eat, but don't eat any suspicious, suspicious fruits, okay? I'm sending you a second shard of light, right? 
Dun dun dun! Right, got a shard of light from the princess! I make shards of light little by little every night using my own magic. I'll send them with my letters. Keep them safe and do not eat them. Until we meet again, please take care. Princess, huh? Not bad, right? Not bad. Kaka! Skull Forest is straight ahead. Take a deep breath and head on in. There we go. Uh, oh wait, first, first we gotta, we gotta ex inspect everything. Let's just inspect these. Uh, looks like this little guy would do well teamed up with Kotaro. If Kotaro lives alone. <laughs> Let's check out this. Uh, stack of turtles here. That's the turtle family of Turtle Rock, the town's most famous models. Turtles lie in the sun to sanitize their shells. Really? Is that why they do that? I assumed this was so they could warm up, but you know that probably makes sense too. This is signed for the number one tourist spot in the whole town, Piano Bridge. I thought of it when I saw a staircase that can make bird sounds on TV. Stuff. That's a signboard. I read the signs at the theme park over and over while waiting in line. Yeah, because what else are you gonna do? You know, besides for playing I Spy and maybe um, rock paper scissors with where it happens to be near you. <laughs> hey, you know, busting out your switches and playing some games on there. That's a trolley carrying fish. I wonder where I could ride a real trolley. Hmm. Probably go to San Francisco for that. Finally, Meninja! Oh, Meninja spotted, so this makes 13 of them, right? Yeah, there we go, 13 of us. Papoof. We found that. We'll go ahead and... Yeah, that's all the hot spots here. Okay, exiting help mode on the adventure. Free. can we talk to you again? Get to replay that game. Hey, Mr. Hey, right, you wanna play the piano again? Yeah, let's do it. I wanna play. Is gonna be London Bridge. Yep, London Bridge. Okay. Can we pick a difficulty? I wanna, I wanna bump it up to medium. Actually, can I just like jump straight to expert, perhaps? I played a lot of guitar here. I, I can handle like the full range of buttons, you know. Guitar Hero and Rock Band. So I'm very familiar with that style of uh, rhythm game. So why do all of these fish kind of look like, um, tadpoles? Yeah, tadpoles. We're gonna go with that. They're tadpoles, okay? Good call! That does it! Hey, hey, 24 fish! That's perfect! You're an actual prodigy! No, oh, okay. So, that's that. Alright, click these spots now. or the paper boots, huh? No, nope, can't do that either. Alright, we're gonna go right. Or actually, I wanna go to the sign, see if I can read that real quick. Leave no inspection spot uninspected. Hey! The pride of Porch Town, the piano bridge! Jam out, exercise, and go fishing. That's pretty cool. Peaches in this river, it's kind of nuts when you think about it. On to the next page. Hey, who are you? Person with A on their hat. Congrats, you finished all the quests in this area. You're good at rhythm games, I bet you'd be good at music racer. Ooh. I've not heard of that game before. I'll have to look it up. Especially since I got the Steam Spring sale going on right now. Maybe that's like got a discount on it. Maybe I'll 
I'll take a look at it. It said I do have like some other rhythm-esque games I have keeping an eye on. Go check out one of those as well. <laughs> A nice compliment to High Five Rush, am I right? <laughs> you can drop YouTube links in game to listen to your favorite songs. Oh, hey, YouTube integration. That's a first. Most of the most of the rhythm games I play usually they let you import MP3s, and I got like a whole stack of them, so that's like pretty cool. But huh, YouTube integration is a first. But I imagine in that case, you might not only be able to just, like, uh, put in music, but <laughs> if you wanted to, like, throw in a whole ass podcast, you could probably do that, too. <laughs> imagine just throwing in, like, a three-hour podcast and playing a whole stage based on that. Actually, on second thought, maybe best not to do that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what, what Alvin here has to say. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I can't just ask that old lady for help. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Spit. Right stepped in some gum right as he reached the entrance to the forest. Oh, jeez, that's the worst. Good thing you're next to a river, at least. Oh, perfect. You there, who just stepped in that gum. I have a request. I'm Searcher A from the Subterrain Kingdom. My commander is in trouble. Sudden request for help. New side quest to Subterrain Search Party. Select a side quest from the desktop to play. Let's head to the desktop. Really? Now arriving at the desktop. Hmm? Someone's calling from far away. You who? You there? Mayday, Mayday, SOS, 911, uh, 411, 101, 112. Um, am I missing any? I am. Help! Oh boy, that was a close one. I dang near fell off that cliff. Thanks for saving me. Just to show you my appreciation, I'll let you join the subterrain search party. Congrats, rookie searcher. Hey, hold on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're moving a little fast here, good fella. Commander, are you all right? Great time in searcher, eh? Anywho, let's get to the subterrain kingdom. <sighs> and about time we call it quits. We all know there's no such thing. How dare you! We are never giving up! It's our duty to uncover the legendary subterrain kingdom at all costs. Searcher A, have you found the legendary balloon? I have. This thing, right? <laughs> of course, it's an actual balloon. I found it near the Kingdom of Light. Hey, it's spinning around as well. Oh. Are we gonna have to, like, shoot this balloon eventually? I see there's a crosshair on that tape. Don't get too close, Searcher A. That balloon could blow at any moment. Why didn't you tell me that before? What are we gonna do? It's obvious, isn't it? We're gonna have the rookie Searcher defuse it. Oh, yeah, okay. You won't put your necks on the line, but yeah, sure. Let's get the red shirt out there. Yes, you, ends in right. Get out there and defuse that bomb for us. I got special searcher equipment to help you do it. Okay, rendezvous at stationary station. <laughs> the cardboard express is now departing. Choo choo. Oh, wow, a whole ass train. Okay. Special stationary we're using here this time is a compass. All you gotta do is stab the spot on the balloon covered with tape. Got it, rookie searcher. It's searching time. Aim carefully now. Ah, oh, I see. Right, so... You put it through there and the balloon's not gonna blow apart. I'm sure Wright has, has an infinite supply of balloons with tape on stuck on to it for, for us. I do like the whole homemade craft aesthetic. Yeah, as do I. Oh my god. Could you imagine? Yeah, a kid just puts all this together. A fun fun adventure for their friend to play with after school. A lot of props to it. Like, yeah. You, you 
check out the other stream of this man. You see, so you'll see some of the other props. Uh, our old pal Kenta, uh, it's our game master. He's put together for this. It's it's real inspired. All right, let's uh, stab at the paper spot. I wonder if we can get a bullseye. We try to get it with right on the dot. Okay. We've all been there gluing toilet roll holders and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, um, glue, uh, pasting together various colored sheets of um, construction paper you know, to make that sort of craft that, that we want to make. Or that wondrous paper display. <laughs> ah, man. Art class. Elementary school art class. That was... Those were the days, man. Oh ho! Ho ho! Way to go, rookie searcher! A rousing success! Wowee! The balloon quietly deflated when you poked a spot covered with tape. There was a note under the balloon. Aha! Searcher A, go dig around the castle. Plus, PVA glue is just the funnest thing to peel off your hands. Haha! <laughs> Ain't that the truth. I think we did that with, uh, I think our brand we had around here was Elmer's Glue, and this was pretty similar to that. This just smelled real funny. What? All by my lonesome? Yeah, you know what, that's a good point. Yes siree! Rookie Searcher gets an exemption for defusing the bomb! <laughs> that compass sealed a bond betwixt the two of us. It's all coming full circle. So, Rookie Searcher, we'll come find you when we make some progress. Dismissed! With that, the search party was gone. Will they find the subterranean kingdom? Find out ne next time in Episode 2, The Magnet's Pool. Insert Dragon Ball Z music here. You can watch the next part later. Alright, let's continue The Legend of Wright. Wright left the search party and went back to the forest entrance. <laughs> Spit. What the? Oh, right. Sorry for scaring you. I was practicing warp magic. But I messed up. I wanted to go to the tavern. And I stepped in some gum. Dang it. Let me try again. Wah! Wah! Warp! And he's not going to be able to warp away, because now um, he's stuck to a piece of gum. Er, nope. He's gone. Pot used warp magic. Who knows where he could be? Alright, well. Now that interlude is over, let's go here. What's in this treasure chest? Right, secretly open the treasure chest next to Granny. Dun dun dun! Right, got a gumball, so now we know where the gum's coming from. Hopefully, that's all the gum. What a mischievous boy. Right, wrap your gun in paper once you're done with it. Say the same to you, my good friend. Oh, what's this? The bridge has been repaired. That's too bad. Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm, did you secretly be a witch? Could this be like a, a cameo of a... Or our next uh, antagonist. Hold on there, dearie. How are you going in the skull forest? The forest is full of demons. Not all who enter return. Still want to go? I guess this is just a confirmation. Make sure. Hey! Um, this is going to be a point of no return here. Wrap things up in town first? I will, actually. Oh, I see. Well, you're only a child. Best day in town where it's safe. Yeah, we're gonna... See if there's any more spots here to examine. Got the... Oh, wait, I forgot to... I forgot to inspect stuff. Let's do that real quick. Ah, that's a treasure cooler. It's perfect for right, because its treasure is food! 
<laughs> Who puts a gumball in the cooler? Like, unless it's like chocolate or something, you usually don't put candy in the cooler. That makes it really hard and... I mean, some cold candy is good, but... It's like other candy you don't want to get cold because then it comes solid and harder to chew. Yeah, there's a creepy old lady over there. My grandma told me if you put lemon juice on a cut apple, it won't go brown. Weird segue, but thanks for the knowledge. Huh? That's a huge cow bone. Yeah, chocolate in the fridge is like eating a brick. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. I wonder how many steaks a cow this big would make. Hmm, maybe it was a cow demon. Dun dun dun. That's a super butterfly. Its scientific name is Supera Dupera Ro Ropalacara. Is that for real? I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Okay, one more thing. Meninja! Over there! A meninja! We got 14 of them! Almost as old as the tree demon. Alright, now we will move on. Uh, let's see. Decisive here, but I forgot. I want to check the castanets menu. Welcome to the desktop. Let me go ahead and lock the rest of the functions. All right, so now we get to access the world map. First, I'll unlock the world map. You can check Wright's location here. Next, the legendary medals. Last the option screen where you can adjust the game settings. Now the whole desktop has been unlocked. Go ahead and check things out. Ooh, we got a couple of medals here. We've got five medals so far. Hmm. Let's see what we have. That's the novice ninja medal awarded to those who have found five mini ninja. Junior ninja medal awarded for those who found ten. Okay. That's the gold medal, a medal, a shiny medal awarded only by the Metal King. What's this one? That's the Investigator Medal, awarded to frequent users of health mode. Huh. Yeah, like me. That's the Careful Hero Medal, awarded to those who beat the tutorial dungeon. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, these are all pretty reasonable medals. Uh, I gotta go ahead and exit that. Alright, here we go. It's a doodling area. Do you want to draw something? Eh, maybe not. I did say it was for fun. Just looking, huh? No worries. Off to the grindstone. Came for a visit, huh? Want to sharpen your sword while you're here? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, right, we're gonna... Excellent! Draw your blade! Go ahead and put Wright's sword into the sharpener. Now turn that handle and get to sharpening. Let's do it. We're gonna, we're gonna get this uh, sharpness of the blade back to full capacity and go back out and hunt monsters. Ching! It's as good as new! Wow, it's been so long since I used one of those pencil sharpeners. Yeah, same here! Man, I think it was actually back in high school. That, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've seen one of these handle-operated pencil sharpeners. Granted, it's been a while since I've seen, like, pencil sharpeners in general, but I imagine, you know, electric sharpeners, and maybe even those, like, super tiny mini sharpeners will still have their relevance, but, yeah, these sorts of handle-operated pencil sharpeners, you don't see them around, unless it's, like, a really old <laughs> school building. Alright, back to the desktop. Let's check out the menu. This is the options menu. You can adjust the volume, vibration, and pencil color. In primary school, our teacher made us use a box cutter to sharpen pencils. What the heck? Seems dangerous and 
inefficient. If you messed up. Pencil color. I do here. I also like how this is a, um, a paper tab. It's like you just pull it back and forth to get the thing you want. Yeah, okay, so we'll leave that there. Now, what is this? I wonder if it's just like to turn ambient sounds on and off. And this is, yeah, music volume, so either loud or quiet. And we'll, we'll leave it at the current level. Getting those classic pop-up book vibes. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely remember the old pop-up books where you get the various interactive bits and yeah, you would have the tabs and you could pull back and forth to watch cool things happen. Whether it be like doors open or some figure shift across the page or something of the sort. Alright, we'll go back. Just like how it's like the not Lego tower they made out of the options menu. Uh, and the map. The world map. <laughs> We're here, this is where right is. Yep, and this is a great cave. AKA Mount Dragon, you escaped it by boat. As a castle of light, it's been taken over by the demon army. The deep, deep forest. Well, not so much a forest as a... <laughs> you'll see. Uh, you mean it's like a Mario Party board, or...? That's a haunted house. One step in and you'll be cursed forever! <laughs> that cool looking thing is a skyship. It's crewed by a bunch of birds. This is Cardboardia, where adventure takes place. It's all made of cardboard! Yes, yes it is. See that staple there? Staple there that's kind of like attaching the... I'm assuming that's like construction paper sun to the straw over there. Of course you see the straw over here is also holding the microbead exit sign. Yeah. Again, craft the aesthetic of everything here is... It's real charming, like... Okay, back to the desktop. And, uh, that's everything in the desktop menu. Let's return to the notebook. Back to the game! Okay. Now, we have done everything, so we're gonna head into Skull Forest. You're going in after all? I'm going in. Hee <laughs> hee! You should listen to your elders, but I can't stop you. Please, take this apple. Feeding you is the least I can do. Eh, joke's on you. I've watched Snow White. I've watched the Disney version of Snow White. I know what you're trying to pull on me. You can't trick me. Right, got a suspicious apple from Granny. Don't eat it until you're in the forest. Take care, sweetie. Hee <laughs> hee. And off he goes, running into the forest. Hey, right, I forgot to tell you something. Uh-oh. The trees in the forest have been cursed by the demons. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! The old lady was no good. Anyways, just imagine the old lady cackle. I don't know if I can give that any justice. Come! This is bad. Right was followed by the forest. And so, Wright disappeared into the darkness of Skull Forest. Chapter 2, Porch Down Cleared! Congratulations! Wright is... Wright has entered an unknown fate. He could be in, like, ultimate danger. He could possibly even be dead, but... Hooray! You clear the chapter! Woo! Let's go! Pop the poppers! Uh, blow the... You know, little blowy things. Uh, yeah, throw the confetti on like you just did. We did it! Time to celebrate! Celebrate good times! Come on! Celebrate it! Yeah. You get, you get the idea. How was Porchtown? You met all kinds of characters there, huh? It was fun writing them. Ooh, what about your classmates? Who is your favorite one? Uh, definitely like Rita. Guida, the kind-hearted biologist. She's always cool and collected. She'll be a big help when Wright faces off with some super dangerous creatures. Wright will re reunite with all four of his classmates as you keep playing. 
All right, time to see where Wright's headed to next. Look at the storybook. Wright finds himself in a dark forest crawling with demons. Also, he's eating the freaking apple. What are you doing, man? But look, Wright has something in his hand. Yeah, it's the apple. We know, we know. Wright took a bite out of the suspicious apple he got from Granny. No. Swear to God, if the next thing he does is fall asleep. Wright's hungry as always, but should he ever really have eaten that apple? I don't know why he ate the apple. He has a banana, he has a burger, he's got like three of the, two of those confettos. He's got like a bowl of noodles. Why why did he eat the apple first? Yeah, that's right. You're not supposed to take food from strangers. <laughs> but we took a banana from the gorilla. And I'm sure the gorilla is like technically a stranger. Also, the burger we made earlier, kind of, sort of, from a stranger, even though, you know, that was like an arcade facility, but still. The dark, mysterious forest right stepped into is called, it's, it's called Skull Forest. I saw it on the map. Dun, dun, dun. Chapter three, Skull Forest. Look, look. Tried to stop right from all, eating all the weird fruits and mushrooms here. Is, is a chili pepper a fruit? I always assumed it was a vegetable, but it could be like a tomato situation. Right? You know what? I'm gonna have to look this up afterwards now, just to, just to see if that is a, could classify it as a fruit. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. I mean, it's like a, a different kind of food entirely. Also, acorn. Is that a fruit? I guess we'll I'll have to look that up as well. Since it's a forest, we need a campfire. Classic style campfire. And then there's this. Is this mouse gonna. gonna what? This mouse gonna what? Gonna what, Kenta? What is this mouse gonna? Wanna know what happens in chapter 3, Skull Forest? Let's get going! Okay, yeah, I guess we'll find out. If not now, eventually. Right, hungry as always, ate the suspicious apple he got from the old lady. And, uh... Wow, we get went right into the Looney Tunes situation right here. Oosh, stud! He was so busy eating that he fell off the cliff. <laughs> Don't tell me that was, like, it. He used a D-pad to pull that beautiful ripe flower right out of the ground? This year's ripe flowers are lovely. <laughs> Perfect! Now it's time for an adventure in Skull Forest. Uh, there's a hole in the cliff. Something's in here, but Wright's too big to go in. Hmm. Well, uh, alright. That is another chapter done, and I think I will uh, conclude things here. <laughs> it, was it was a pretty fun switch things, um, yeah. We managed to keep things fresh through some new mechanics at us, and now find ourselves in a new zone. What sorts of new uh, perils await us in Skull Forest? Well, we'll find out next week, because yeah, I... <laughs> very intriguing, indeed. See all sorts of sinister shadows. A bunch of fuzzies. Hopefully we won't have to touch them, because I imagine we'll get dizzy if we do. Classic ants, you see yourselves, a carnivorous plant over here. Uh, good old ref Reflesia. A uh, mushroom with a frowny face on it. Uh, spiky, spiky vines. Oh, even the trees got sinister looking faces on them too. So, yeah. <laughs> but what will all this mean? Uh, we'll find that out next time. I think I will call the stream here. But yeah, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll be back on Sunday. We'll play 
Army of Ruin. I've actually been playing that a lot. Uh, we played Vampire Survivors. It's it's like Vampire Survivors. I'll show you how how very Vampire Survivors is it. It's like on Sunday. All right. Um, have a good one. Yeah, you have a good one too. Um, I'm gonna go find someone to raid and see who is online at the moment. Smears like the particular set of search parameters I usually look up just suddenly exploded with a whole bunch of streamers on it. And it's because it's like people are like starting to turn a new leaf. It's like new year, new leaf. Let's uh, let's start something new, and they all like yeah, let's let's try out streaming. Wish them all best of luck. Cross-reference and uh, something up from there. Man. Like two folks I wish would stream the time I was streaming at. Well, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't go that way. Back if they're on anyway. of Erlen. Most people come and go. Maybe they just decided, eh, maybe this ain't what I want. Um, in any case, I think I have uh, found someone that we can perhaps uh, send everyone off to. Let's go raid, um... Jinan? Jin, I want to say. They're playing Super Metroid right now. Uh, hey, you know, that's... 
We go from a game that was made to be a tribute to the games of old to an actual game of old. Check them out. All right, if you're joining on the raid, uh, hit them with like a tabletop raid. Otherwise, I will uh, see you Sunday. Have a good weekend.